Hey people, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Uh, I got something I want to ask you guys. I, I'm I'm not sure, I'm not understanding what it is or how it is they're sending this message out. So I kind of want to ask you guys because I, I just don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. So if you guys could help me in the comments below, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Say today is reporting today that uh, climate change related weather hazards linked to nearly 60% of human diseases. I'm not sure what that means. I, I understand what they're telling me, but I don't know what that means by it because everyone knows that rats, bats, mold, mosquitoes can make people sick, but new study out this week, so they found out this week, concludes such pathogens and hundreds more are made worse by warming world. Now, this year, 2022, what is this? Uh, August 2022. Australia in the Southern Hemisphere is having an abnormally cooler... The, the Southern Hemisphere is having an... Uh, right across the board is having an abnormally cooler winter this year because it's winter in the South, the Southern Hemisphere. So is this based for people reading this in the North where we did have some pretty warm weather out here where I live and they're kind of molding it to what is happening out there because the climate does change it's going to rain tomorrow so it does, the climate changes right so a group of university of hawaii researchers put together a list of 376 human diseases and allergies then looked at how they're affected by climate related weather hazards such as heat waves floods drought fire and rain but this stuff always happened if you go back to a couple of hundred years you'll see that the earth pretty much cooled down really dangerously because the sun the sun dictates what happens on earth the sun has its own orbit its own tilts its own wobbles flares whatever the sun dictates what happens here like 90 percent and then the rest is all volcanoes and stuff that put more soot and ash in our ionosphere than we do as humans in 100 years so i'm just trying to figure out what are they claiming here because right now if people if there's somebody in oregon or or, or seattle or portland area or northern california could comment in the comments and, and confirm with me that you're having longer rainy season, not really much of a summer, cooler weather this year. I, I'm just trying to make sense of this or what they're trying to tell us because you could predict or you could create a, or you could have a fancy picnic as, as elaborate as possible, as humanly possible, but you can't predict the weather because the climate changes. So they found nearly 60% of known pathogens that would make people sick have been aggravated by warming related weather hazards according to the study published this week in nature climate change this included not only mosquito borne viruses like malaria and dengue fever but also asthma monkeypox shellfish poisoning and even fungal infections like the valley fever okay so then it goes on the researchers reviewed more than 70,000 academic studies and papers to search for links between the pathogens and 10 climate related weather hazards. Uh, the results were truly sobering. So I, I'm not understanding pathways to disease. I, I'm not understanding how they're, I, I can't make sense of this. Like the weather's always been changing. I understand the default is climate change. They go around, they do what they have to do, hot wars, whatever they're doing. We've discussed this on Mike in the Night. And then before you know it, they go back front and center to climate change. Blame humans. I'm not understanding, like, I mean, Canada's negative, uh, carbon is at a negative emissions right now because we produce more fresh air than we do carbon, right? So I I'm just trying to figure out exactly, yeah, you live in a polluted city, yet yeah, you're going to have troubles breathing, sure. I mean, but what kind of illness or sickness, you know, I, I mean, is it like smoking? Like it takes 20, 30 years to get to you? I'm not understanding. Like I'm trying to figure out this whole linking climate change or the weather changing to sicknesses and pathogens and, and deadly viruses. And isn't that human nature? Isn't that what happens over time? I mean, there's a lot of, I know there's a lot of, um, natural immunity deniers out there that deny their natural immunity and trust the science. But I mean, what is it going to come together and make sense? Like none of it does. And why they keep throwing this word salad out there trying to confuse people. It doesn't make any sense.
So if you're down in Australia, let me know. Are you having an abnormally cooler, cold, colder, longer winter um, than usual? And if you're in Oregon, I heard that the, the weather there has been cooler. So could they use, like, what are they doing? I don't know. And that's why I'm making this video. You tell me what's going on. What am I missing here? Comment below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Mike Martins, I have spoken.